shut that down. We gonna shut that down. Yeah. Put, he'll, That's how I, he'll put the whole he'll put the whole newspaper on fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll blow the whole building up. Huh? Send, send Gustavo in there to set the whole thing on fire before you yeah. know, come back. That's how I think they're gonna have another. What is this? This is gonna go to. This is season what three, four? What four. season is it? Four, four. That's how I think they're gonna have a season five because like Lucinda, that's her name. So they asked, they asked uh, Gustavo asked uh, redefine Lucinda, right? And it's like, okay, we only got four episodes left. You know, I, I, I'm guessing it's gonna only be ten episodes, right? Like we only got four. Yeah, we got four left, and we ain't even he and they already dropped a tidbit. I need you to find Lucinda. Where you gonna bring Lucinda? He probably gonna bring Lucinda in like, like episode nine, and that's gonna lead into to the next season, season, season five. You know what I mean? And so well, yeah, they might. I wonder what kind of play she would. You know what I'm saying? What kind of plays they can run with her and Gustavo? You know what I'm saying? Having them running it back and forth to Mexico, they find them another plug or. Like, you know what I'm saying? That'll be a different, a whole different aspect of how they, you know what I'm saying? How they bring her back. But yeah, like I said, I think they're going to find her because Reed, I think Reed, he has a, a capability to definitely find her. You know, him yeah. being, Reed probably knows where she at. You know, know how sneaky Reed is. Yeah, because he was like, hey, man, I don't know if we should be digging in the past like that. He's like, man, I just got to know. You know, I, I got Yeah. Know. Yep. So yeah, I think that's, that's how they're going to bring Lucinda in at the end of, of season, of this season. And uh, that's that man. That season finale, I think they're gonna drag Scully and Man Boy out to the you think you, finale. That, I, I, yeah, bro, I think they gotta wrap this. They gotta wrap that up. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. But you, we kind of know. I mean, for what the pre uh, the preview for the next episode, it seems like the whole next episode is gonna be them trying to establish Little Rock or Arkansas, right? So now, I mean, they try to establish Arkansas in whole episode six. And now we got three episodes left, which they might knock one of the boys off in episode seven. You know, knock knock somebody off. You know, I don't know, man. It just it just they dra- they 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 dragged it out so far now to where now you gotta wrap it up fast. You gotta butt butt something up fast in these next four. You know, I mean, if you had this next episode of them trying to lock down Arkansas, so now you got three episodes. Yeah. But you know? but the way that they the way that they move sometimes sometimes like the first two episodes it went kind of fast so I think yeah. they have the, the the ability to kind of like but but I kind of like how they're doing it though they kind of give you a slow arc they kind of like they building the character development you know what I'm saying because most shows they kind of just go bam 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 give you everything and you be like man they ain't do no character development but now we see you know what I'm saying see see this character development coming along you know yeah. you see young character you see. You know, Franklin, man, boy, you see all these relationships, so you have backstories, yeah. and then I think yeah. that's that's how you keep going to building on season. But like I said, like maybe see like episode eight, that's when they kind of like pick it up, like hey, we gotta we gotta wrap some of this up, we gotta get Scully out of here. Yeah. We got. I like how they, I like how that that like you said, uh, uh, the character development because we see man, boy, last season, Scully just came in this season. Exactly, you know what I'm saying. You know, and it was like that's why I'm like, man, they gonna they gonna they gonna. Only bring Scully in for one season to, and knock him off. I'm like, ah, man, that's that's crazy. Cause Scully, you know, like man, boy, at least gave us two. He been in there for two seasons. Yeah, cause remember he was in there last season. You know, man, boy, and, and, and was he? Wait a minute. Yeah, he was there. Like, he was there last season because he he was the one. He was like one of the first distributors that he had. You know, cause okay, yep. That's how, that's how him and Leon got into it. You know, what I'm saying basically over Wanda. That's right. Yep. Yep. You're right. Yep. You're right. For Wanda, so that's they that's that whole, and then you got that whole back, you got their backstory. I like how they build these backstories. So then when they start to pick it up and go faster, and kind of like introduce new characters, they doing different things, and we not we don't have to be worried about trying to uh, uh, develop any more backstories and things like that. They can just go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, and we know everything, we know everybody about everybody. Now we can just go. We can build new characters. We don't really have to worry about building their character flow out because we only going to be shooting here a couple of times. And then you just keep moving on, and you know what I mean. And plus, we have other stuff that's going on. Like, yeah, I think they're just doing it because they, they they go up because it went it went fast up. Love it all, mm-hmm. kind of dipped that one episode, kind of picked up a little bit when at the end of the episode five, episode four when um when they when they shoot out the end of the episode and they kind of like mm-hmm. kind of tapered off a little bit for this see this episode five, and then I think the next episode that's when they're gonna kind of pick it up a little bit more because. Yeah. Go. Yeah, because then you got it. Because I think that's it. That, that, that Arkansas play might be just one episode here, and then they might show it again, episode nine, and then try to make make it bring it back to like the next season. You know what I'm saying? That's when they really kind of moving into spread. Because you know, think about it. I think they, they based off, they, they loosely based it off Freeway Ricky Ross. Right, right, right. Yeah. 
Rick Ross. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For, him, for him to be moving the amount of money that he was making, the amount of money he was making per week, you can't just make that in, 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 in the hoods in LA. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You got to get other cities up under your belt. Yeah. Man, real, here's the reason why I think they might keep scullying around because they just, got in the, they just got in the bed basically with the real estate mogul. And the real estate mogul was over the bottoms where Scully is, right? So it's like, if they if they kill Scully off, what's the reason they need to be in, in, in business with the dude? Because that what that was one of the main reasons why Franklin Mama got in the business with the real estate dude, right? So he can get Scully out of there. Mm -hmm. So it's like if they kill Scully off, what's the? I mean, also, also, yeah, also they try to get him have him go legal. Yeah, he wanted the bottom. Yeah, they want to leg legitimize the business. That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to leg want to yeah. legitimize the business. And the reason how the way she was going to do that was give him that give him that piece of property that he needed that he had that he couldn't get from the bookstore. Give him that. He get the bottoms. Take over the whole take over that whole little, that subdivision or that that whole area. And now he got the investor. Now they can now, now they can build on that. They can make more investments into more buildings. And he can just yeah. completely watch that money. You got to think about it. they got eight million. They move eight million a month. Like, bro, how can you, you can't watch that much money on those yeah. little, on them clubs and all that, whatever you do. You can't, you can't watch 8 million through a club, bro. Like he got to be having like big boy investments. Like, like I said, like the church when you know what I'm saying? Like not to say right. on like, the godly part of it, you know what I'm saying? To see them washing money through the church is kind of crazy to see. <laughs> but just yeah. saying how, but just knowing how these, how these churches work, how much money be going flowing through these churches. You know what I'm saying? Like they can easily wash money through the church and, and really get it back fast because you can make yeah. a million, you can wash a million here, a million there, you know what I'm saying? But trying to wash eight million through a club, nightclub, <laughs> not gonna happen. They gonna know what's yeah. up. They gonna know something, something ain't right. The rest will eat up all the money before they can get to it. They have in, the, in, them, in them back rooms back there, the rest gonna eat it all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, hey, and them damn, and, that, and them stacks, they stacking it to the ceiling. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they was stacked to the ceiling, bro. I'm like, damn. All you're gonna take your know, the, the building catch on fire, you done so. Oh yeah. Or somebody done. up the joint, somebody coming and stick up the joint, you done. You know, that, and Frank awesome. Yeah, he don't got no muscle. Frank ain't got no muscle. That nigga the only dope boy. Like nigga, yeah, that's that's the only thing I'm like, Frank, even Frank, nigga, Frank Lucas had all the muscle. Nobody was touching Frank Lucas. Like nobody. Frank, you got all this money. He bought he bought it. The family, he brought he had them six, seven brothers, brothers and something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like had them boys. Man, frankly, person. Think about it, like you said, you you talk about how them, how he did. It. He had them boys all over the city. He had a car business. He had, a, he had yep. a, cleaners and shit. Cleaners, you know what I'm saying? Like you got all these businesses, so you can watch. You got you know what I'm saying business watch that money. All they got is the club. They can't watch all that money through no club. Can't watch all the money. Yep, and three hundred thousand. You can better get three hundred thousand watch <laughs> club. <laughs> hey, frankly, man. Frankly, don't got nobody. He ain't got enough people he trusts, man. Like, I mean, he do, but then he got, he, the thing is, he got a battle within himself. Cause, you know, he got his dad talking about, you know, dad, Black Panther, about you, you poisoning our people. And, you know, and so he got that plan in his head. And it's like, damn, man. And, and, and mama, like, his mom, mom's like, let's go. We got to get Mo. We got to get Mo. And then you got, yeah, man. So he kind of battling with, within himself. You know, his dad talking about, let's go pop some popcorn, watch some Bruce Lee. Like, nah, nigga. They need to watch the damn whatever he said. What he say, Bruce Lee or some shit like that. Moving like, look, we gotta get to the streets. I gotta get to the streets. We got business to handle. Yeah, like pop. You trying? You trying to have me up here popping popcorn and shit? We it's popping man, off. It's popping off the streets. Just remember, you got that shelter because of me. You got to, nigga. You better get on board. You got clean because of me. Yeah, got clean because of me. Quit playing, man. Like you know, trying to oh, this this, is, this sentimental shit, man. Oh, this could be going overnight easily. Easily, man. Easily, yeah. So they gotta, they gotta, they gotta get on board. I mean, after, like you said, after that, that, that cop came and took his mama, and took her to the graveyard. She, she jumped in. She was like, you know what? Forget it. She like, forget it. You know, get it. She's like, go handle it. Let's, let's get it. She like, let's get it. We gotta make sure you gotta finish this up. Let's gonna get the business. She loved it. She loved it. She loving that real estate business, investing business. She loving it. She loving yeah. it. She loving it, bro. So man, yeah, yeah. She like you said, she walking in. Get it, girl. You see, turn. Yeah, I'm going. You know, she. I got my. I'm going to my interview. Yeah, go ahead, girl. You know, she. She. She love to be the boss now. She so, love to be the boss. I wonder, did, did she spot Leon through the windows by mistake, or did she know Leon was there? I think she knew Leon was there. Like she knew. Like she walked. Remember, she walked right in. 
Yeah, she walked right to the door because I saw him peeking at the window. I'm like, did she know he was there or was she just kind of there and saw him peeking through the window and was like, let me go check in on him or did, you know what I'm saying, did she know he was already there and went to go? Because remember, remember after the scene, Franklin was like, why you go, mama? Remember, he was like, it's my building. He living in my building, remember? He was like, so he, like, it's, to me, it's, it seemed like he, she knew he was there. She knew he was there, yeah. And she, yeah. cause she, she, like I said, she must, she, she must have known he was there because she came to braid his hair up, cause she had the, the comb yeah. thing in her purse. Cause when he yeah. sat down, couch, she told him sit on the floor. I'm like, why does she make him sit on the floor? And then when she sat on the floor, I was like, okay, she gonna braid his hair. Yeah, right? That's that old school when she put that gel on her, put that gel on the back of that hand. I was like, oh yeah, that's that, that old school right there. Yeah, bro. Cause you know, think about it, cause like you get my hair braided, so you know, braiding somebody hair up, you know, that's an hour plus job. You know what I mean? So that was a time for them to just kind of. You know, maybe vent to her or just get it off his chest. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You yep. know, cause she knew, she knew Leon ain't like that. Like Le Leon, he about he about that life, but it's like you know, Leon he, ain't about you know. Yeah, and the thing is, he he ain't explained what happened yet. So I think the next episode is where he got to explain what happened. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. he explained what happened to nobody. Like man, we was there to hit, put the hit on Scully. They pull up on us, and what you want me to do? Like you know what I'm saying? They they pull up right next to us, and you know what I'm saying? And they pull out the pull out the pistols. We yeah we back in the car. They got hit. We I made it. Yeah, and the thing is, like you said, well, I we, had to, I had to, I had to return fire because yeah. remember I'm at the taco shop. They came shooting at me. Exactly. All because they, all because of you. So it was like hey, I didn't know she was in the car, but they came shooting at me. They should. They could. They you know. It's like you. You. I mean, you gotta expect me to come back at them. Yeah. You gotta expect that. And we were sitting there on the block. We figured out what school we were living. We were sitting in the car park across the street. They pull up on me. They pull out the pistol. I would turn fire. You know what I'm saying? It was them or me in that moment. I got them. And then I realized it was a baby in the back seat, man. You know, I didn't mean to kill her, but it was an accident, you know. And I got to live with that. Yeah. I got to yeah. live with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's it. whatever happened. Had you, and then he can just tell me, none of this whatever happened. Had you listened to me, like we saw in the preview, had you listened to me and stayed out of it when I told you to stay out of man born scully business, we would have been straight. But you had, to, oh, you had to get involved. Hey, and his aunt said that. And I think that's why he feel guilty, and that's why he feel guilty to uh, to go out, go out and protect Leon. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah, that's... his aunt told him that too, remember? And just be lucky they ain't coming at us. Just keep giving them, you know what I mean? Leave yeah. him alone. He want to go. Nah. He want to go get in the middle. Listen be... to man boy. Listen to man boy. Want to go get in the middle of it. Nigga thinking Huey P. New. Why ain't get in the middle of shit? <laughs> preach night. Like, bro, come up, get up out of there with all that, man. And stay out there, stay out there for business, man. They making you money, stay out the bid. That's street business. If you, yeah. You got to call them both to the table and sit down. You know what I'm saying? But you trying to go knock them off on some play that went like, left. Reed didn't tell you to do that. Reed was like, hey, Reed, you know, them niggas out there shooting each other. I should say, you know, murder's going on and, and uh, uh, Franklin start feeling some type of way. Let me, let me go kind of get died, you know, make sure everybody died, get this, get this dialed in and everybody cool out. Go to the funeral with Scully. Uh, fun nah, man, Scully was like, nigga, I'm killing all of them. What'd he say? I'm killing all of them Compton niggas. I was like, that should have been it right there. Yeah. I mean, if that was me, I'd have been like, all right, fuck it. I tried. I'm, I'm done. Oh, it's taking crazy. Yeah. Let him nah, but nah, he want to jump in the middle try to middle. set somebody up. Because I think that his main thing is he was like, man, they keep killing each other. They're gonna just draw more attention. They're gonna bring more attention to to the trap. You know what I'm saying? Mess up my business. So he's like, man, I gotta I gotta take care of one of them. Which one I should get? And I'm gonna get crazy ass Scully. I got man boy. He cool. I'm gonna get crazy ass Scully. We can take him out easy. Man boy, all yeah. four four. And next thing you know, boy boy trigger happy. He jump out too early. Hit go bad. Hit go wrong. Down here from there. Down here from there. Like I don't even know why you trust that nigga man boy with that shit. You know how man boy is. Like, why you trust man boy? Uh, anybody out of out of had peaches and all his boys, and that'd be it. Out of like peaches, round up all your Vietnam boys. We are gonna have them come in, look at these guns in this warehouse, and we are gonna knock him off. Boom, it's it's over. It. You know you gonna, but he gonna put his trust in a nigga that he don't even trust. Man boy, to to, to man, yeah. I'm like, come on, Franklin, bro. But yeah, he he hey, he in the shit now though. He in the, I mean, he already was in it, but now. Now that fucking around, it's I mean, man, boy, and Scully got together. Yeah, they own his head now. So, man, just to go ahead and um, you know, wrap this up, man. What do you think in your prediction for the next episode or to the next couple of episodes? What do you think gonna happen? Man, I think in uh, 
these next episodes, man. Yeah, I mean, we all know he's gonna go down to Arkansas. He's gonna go down to Arkansas and try to try to get that rocking. Um, but then I feel like I feel like he gonna you know he he gonna have to go out there and and, and you know he going on he going on out of town. This is an out of town cat trying to come up here and set up shop. So he gonna have to put in. I feel like he gonna have to put in that work. He gonna have to really call some shots and knock some cats off because you know like. Man, you come you can't you can't just be coming into somebody a whole different, not let alone city, you come to a whole different state. You think you just gonna set up shot, even though yeah, you got the you the purest, purest dope with the low for the low. But man, ain't nobody gonna, I don't know, 